Good morning, boys and girls. This is Miss Debbie. And I thought maybe since we're all still safe at home that I would share another book with you. So today I'm going to read you the story of Sam Snack. It's by David Pelham, and it's um, a favorite of my kids when they were growing up. They really liked it because it's, when it's shaped like a lunchbox, and it has a lot of moving parts inside the book. So it's about two kids, and when they're on vacation, and some dirty tricks they play on each other. Okay, let's get started. Sam and Sis have fun galore while on the vacation at the shore. The sun is hot, so they keep cool by paddling in their favorite pool. For Sam, this is a special day. He's going sailing on the bay. At noon begins the great sea trip in Captain Silver's sailing ship. Tis far around the bay and back, the captain says, so bring a snack. Dear Mom gives Sam a nice surprise, a lunchbox full of fresh supplies. But poor Samantha cannot go. The waves upset her tummy so. I'm sick, she sighs, from just the notion of all that bobbing on the ocean. When Sam runs off, oh, sorry, if I can't sail around the bay, I'll have some fun another way. When Sam runs off to fly his kite, Samantha knows the time is right. She creeps toward a pile of rocks where Sam has left his new lunchbox. He's mean, she thinks, for leaving me. If I get seasick, so should he. Uh-oh. All right, let's look at the pictures. Here's Sam and Samantha on the beach. And here's a picture of Sam with Captain Silver getting ready to go on the boat. And so the little troublemaker opens up Sam's new salt shaker. She throws the salt over her shoulder. For luck, she says, now feeling bolder. She scoops up something in her hand and fills the shaker up with, here's the salt shaker. See the fork and the spoon and all the food. <gasps> What's she doing? <gasps> Sand! Sand in his salt shaker! He's going to put sand on his food! Oh, no! How could he rather go to sea than stay right here and play with me? Samantha next let something loose in Sam's blue thermos full of juice. Quickly pulling off the lid, Sam's sis drops in a squiggly... A squiggly? What is it? Let's see. Ew. Oh my gosh, it's a squid! Ah. To make things nice, Mom likes to fix gourmet snacks on cocktail sticks. But Samantha has in mind a garnish of another kind. Deep in the pool, she makes a grab and fishes out a playful... Let's see what it is. a crab. Can you see that? It's a crab. Oh, she put it right in the middle of his cocktail sticks full of vegetables. Oh, no. She's very tricky. Be hot. Beside a hot dog is a space, a dark and secret little place, a long and narrow empty hole between the hot dog and the roll. Oh, you see that? The perfect place to hide a firm, wriggly, hairy, sandy. Ooh, 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 it's a worm. Ooh, she put a worm on his hot dog. Can you believe that? Oh, what a mean, mean sister. Samantha breathes a happy sigh. Aha, I knew it. Apple pie. Beneath the crust, there's room to store a treat she's found upon the shore. And so, in Sam's most favorite dish, she slips a slimy... What the heck is this going to be? <gasps> Jellyfish! 
fish. Oh, oh my gosh, that's going to taste terrible. Quick, here's Sam. It's time to sail. But Sis still lacks the last detail. While Sam heads for his new lunchbox, skipping over pools and rocks, she doesn't have to look too far to find a blob of sticky tar. Oh, she ruined the cookies. Oh my gosh, she's a very dirty trickster. The captain yells, anchors away. The yacht sails out into the bay. But sweet as sweet but as Sis sweetly waves goodbye, a teardrop sparkles in her eye. She thinks that was a rotten trick. Poor Sam, he's going to be so sick. <laughs> her tummy rumbles, time to eat. Samantha, too, has her own treat. For her lunch, our little pal had crackers packed with seafood salad. But in her snack, there seems to be... <gasps> Ooh, something Sam, felt Sam found in the sea. Oh, he got even with her after all, didn't he? Oh, that was fun. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that we see each other soon. Just to let you know we all miss you, and we're all thinking about you all the time. Okay? Take care. Have a good day. Bye.